Right now it is time to bring in our good friend Arjun Singh as we go around the world. Uh, Arjun is in Jaisalmer, India, and we here are in Sharon, Connecticut, and we say good day, Arjun. No, we don't. Arjun, you have very low volume. We can't hear you at all. Let's try it again here. <sighs> try it again now, Arjun. Arjun? Hello. Okay, there, there you go. There we are. Hello, Arjun. Now we can hear you. What's yep. happening <laughs> halfway around the world? <laughs> well, uh, the network speed, you know, everywhere, every time. I tried it on Skype. It shows the green light, but it's not working. And mobile, it shows all the bots, uh, but not a good speed of the network. So the problem, I, I'm not sure because of the cold weather, because it never happened. It's very cold outside, uh, 67 degrees Fahrenheit. If I say cold, of course, not cold for you. But for us, it's, it's cold outside there. So yesterday, even I was caught and uh, got some fever there. So went to the doctor, and saw a long queue there, everyone. Because whenever that there's a change in the weather here, the only thing is that the people who live in the temperature of 115 and 20 degree Fahrenheit, they can't tolerate any kind of of uh, cold in the in the weather there. So quickly, everyone gets cold and then go to the doctor and get antibiotics and some vitamins and then some syrups and all those things. So kids were there, old people were there, young people were there. Everyone was in the line there. The doctors really they 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 are so tired of. Because from early morning to the late evening, the lines are in the hospitals because of the change of the It happens. And a couple of days, be um, days before, we had like 10 minutes of raining here. So it, it's unusual. We wait for, for four, five, and six months for the monsoon. It never comes, but it can, I don't know from where. So seven to eight minutes raining, and, and it made the temperature more worse there. So it's very cold right now in Jason Mary. All right, and uh, tell me again what the temperature is for very cold. 67 degrees Fahrenheit. 67, okay, and right now I think we are having a warm spell at 23 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> that's the world. That's, 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 that's the reality because, uh, well, uh, but the people that are uh, here, they, every time, because here the people went, and right now everyone is talking, oh, it's really cold, it's really cold because we know, uh, we don't have that weather kind of predictions or weather uh, reports. We, we don't have it on the TV or everywhere. You don't know what happens next day, what's going to happen tomorrow. So everyone is talking about that maybe it will be more cold tomorrow, and so they are getting prepared. And the other thing is that what is good or bad for all of us is that, in special this time, we have wedding season. Because the people, they especially have the wedding season this time, it's just because I think because of the food. Because if you prepare food, then it, it lasts long for for many times, for many days, like uh, you, it, 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 you can use it for a long time. So we have weddings. Last night we went in a dinner for the wedding there, and me and Gilder we came very early, like at nine, and but Anita she came late at night at about one thirty with, with her brother. So he's sleeping right now because he got that cold. He was on a motorbike and he got cold that night, so suffering right now. And I think now it's her turn to go to the doctor, and so. Uh, at night, it's really chilly. It's very cold for us, and especially it's the dinner uh, and wedding time. So we have to go there. You can't keep yourself in the room there. And the other thing is that people here, they don't know much about the room heater. No, we don't know about the room heater. Sometimes if you really feel cold, you just go and buy blankets and all those things. That no room heaters. People have no idea that they can use the room heaters. When I was in the Sharon there, and I was very safe because I had a room heater in my room there, but here it's not like that that you go and buy because people only think that you buy blankets and blankets and then you use two, three or five blankets and then you can keep yourself warm. So room heater is not in, in I think, in fashion anymore here. In hotels, of course, but not in the houses here. But, and are there tourists or no? Uh, well, we have some, uh, some uh, foreign tourists right now, no more domestic tourists because uh, the, the winter vacations are over. The kids are all over in India. The schools are open, so mostly the parents, they have gone back to their uh, home places. And uh, so no more domestic tourists. But yes, some foreigners are here. Uh, but not so, as because we have a lot of domestic tourists for the last uh, couple of weeks. But it's okay. We have some foreign tourists here, but not so crowded right now. Now the only thing is that the, uh, you can see the people gathering in each and every street here, uh, in the big processions, and it's all because of the weddings. We have 
special wedding time here uh, this month, January, is packed uh, in everywhere because we have our dinners in, in not in restaurants. It's not like whatever the house is in, in front of the street there or in some grounds there. So everywhere is packed and people are just making food in the open there and then they just serve it to their uh, guests. So it's not like that the ready-made food you buy and then you serve it not. You have to just uh, cook it and then you have to serve it. So sometimes five last night when we were there, about about 700 people were there for for the dinner, and the ladies, uh, as always, the separate the ladies were eating separately, and the gents we were eating separate there. Uh, the food was, I think, uh, um, now it's a bit changed because uh, we got some traditional food, but now I can see a bit kind of mixture of the food that uh, you get in restaurants there. So we got something like a Punjabi type of food, uh, which recently started in our traditional food. Otherwise, you get all, uh, all the traditional food. But now the people are changing the menus and the menus and you are getting some uh, different kind of food. So we got some Chinese, or sorry, Punjabi food last night and it was different in test. Uh, so people are just experimenting with the, uh, with the dishes right now. And how long does wedding season run? I just I, The idea of just uh, knocking together food for 700 people uh, you know, seems 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 quite a lot. Oh yes, it's, I think we have the festival called Holi, the Festival of Colors, which is in the month of uh, March, around 15 to 16. So just before the Holi, uh, you have to do these all those things. So January and February, these are the two big months for the wedding, and especially people do it in in January because uh, um, you want to do it first, and because you don't want to be at last. Sometimes the people uh, want to do it. So just because of the competition, we have some families here and they have some uh, weddings there. So everyone tries to be the first because everyone wants to be uh, to invite all the guests and um, anything can happen. Like uh, if sometimes you have when the wedding season starts, you can't book, you can't get the people working for that. Sometimes uh, you need a electricity failures and a lot of problems you face while uh, the wedding time. So you just want to do it first and to book like everyone in the, if you want to just go for it, for the tents, like for the chairs, for 700 people, you need a lot of utensils for the cooking and all those things. So uh, if you don't book it in advance, then you don't get it. So everyone wants to be first. So I think the January, the first and second week of the January and the third week, I think it's going to be the um, special time when people would just go for the weddings and, and uh, very busy time here in Jason. And now, not everyone is not looking for the tourists. Everyone is just checking the invitation cards. Okay, today I have to go there and tomorrow I have to go there. And because we go there and here now we have a system like when we go for the dinner, we, we have our envelope and we just keep some money inside it and then we just give them as a gift because people uh, don't want you to go to the market and buy some gifts like some pen and paintings and those things because it's of no use for them. So better if you give some money. So we started like from so around 50 rupees, like $1, and then you can just give like sometimes 500 like $10, or more than uh, if you are very rich and if they are very close to you and you love them, then you can give them like like $100 or like that. So they give them gifts. And But the new thing which I saw yes, yes, uh, yesterday that when we went for the dinner, I saw the people, they have envelopes, and now they have their printed names on the envelope. So it can... Uh, I think in this season, otherwise you just write your names on the envelope and then you give it. But last night I saw a couple of envelopes and their names were printed on that. So it's a new starting and we just keep some money in that and then we give it to the uh, father of the bride or the groom because he's going to spend money there. So people give them money and he gets his uh, money like that. So a, a, a man who's seen just close to him with a, with a packet, he collects all those envelopes and then they get money and it, it's good for them because they can buy something for their uh, wedding, all this. And the money goes to the father of the bride or groom? Well, it depends where you are going to eat. Uh, if it's a uh, groom uh, at home or it's a bride at home, so it depends where you are going because it, it goes to the father of the bride or the groom, where you are going. We have separate type of food, uh, dinner invitations, not at one so once you get an invitation from the bride's father and once you get the invitation from the groom's father. So wherever you go, you give the envelope to the father. But it doesn't go to the boy or to the girl. It goes to the parents, especially to the parents. You don't give to the bride or to the groom, uh, not to them, but to the father because he's spending money there. Because uh, the kids are like who are going to be married, they are free. They have no any tension of where to get and where to buy and how to spend money. 
So it's not. They are just sitting in the chairs and enjoying their um, party there. And uh, so the parents, they always do that. So if, some, uh, for example, uh, when I got married, the people, if they came to my, uh, for my invitation, if they came there, they gave an envelope to my father. And I don't know how much money he got at that time and what did he do with that. Because it's not my business to just disturb him or to tell him or to ask him what happened because he is the chief at that time. So all the money goes to the parents. And one last question. Is there a usually... Is 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 there a, usually a long engagement, or be, because most of these weddings are uh, are, are they arranged. arranged? Right, marriages are arranged, and I don't, you know, that concept to uh, that concept to certain people is is right up there with uh, me saying to you it is twenty three degrees, and you saying it's sixty seven, and both of us thinking, you know, me thinking that it's warmer than it's been, and you thinking that that's just inconceivably cold. You know, so arranged well, marriage. Yes, the engagement, it, uh, it's, it's longer. It's always, I think, the average, if you ask me, the time of an engagement, average is three to four years. It's like that. And uh, then uh, sometimes, uh, but you, it's not like that, that you got engaged today and you are just going to marry tonight. It's not like that. It takes time. The people, they just test everything. They, they test the home, they test the parents, they test the, every, the boy and girl. So it's just like a, a test period that goes for a long time. So every time is three to four years, and then you get it's here in my town. I'm not just telling you about whole India. Here right. in my, my community, in my town here. So it's every time is three to four years, and then you get married. In my case, it was eight years. And so, of course, right now, three to four years is the average time. And then, because when the kids, they are like, 16 or 17, then they get engaged, and then when they are 22, 24, 23, they get married. So three to four years is the average time when they get, they remain engaged in uh, within that time. And what do you do about uh, Girdar, for example? Like, will you arrange uh, Will you arrange something for him, or are you going to? He's free. He's free. He's free. He's of course free. First, he wants. First, oh, yesterday he was telling me that first, what you have to do for me is that you need good education, and when I get have the good politics, then I want to go for a world tour because I would like to uh, learn a lot because when I travel, I learn a lot. So first thing which I want want to do is to travel the whole world. I don't know. It's not easy to travel the whole world. But it is dream to travel a lot. So I think when he will travel a lot, uh, he will learn a lot, and then he will think of his own. So I'm not I'm not in a hurry for that, for sure. Of course, when he's now, now 14 and when he will be... <coughs> 16 or 17, the people will come to me for the engagement, for sure. I'm ready for that. But I'm sure that it's his choice what he wants to do. All right. This is a to-be-continued because I will want to know, of course, what uh, what uh, Anita will think of that. But, uh, okay. <clears throat> next week. Next week. Thank you very much, and Thank stay, you. Stay, stay warm. We'll which speak is... to you next week, Arjun. Stay warm, all right, because we'll stay warm, too. Thank you, sir. All right, that's Around the World with Arjun Singh. You can hear that, of course, every week at this time. And if you miss it, it's also on demand, RobinHoodRadio.com, Around the World with Arjun Singh.